If you have some room in your field, I'd like to use a patch. <sighs> Do as you will. Hey, what's going on guys? So in the last video, I completed the Omega Point quest in the research camp. Unfortunately, I couldn't complete all the quests in the research camp because I didn't have any Moon Soul Blooms. Moon Soul Blooms end up replacing Day Ring Blooms at 6 p.m. So I have quite a long time till then. In the meantime, it's a good idea to hunt for more treasure spheres throughout the wildlands. I've already collected all the treasure spheres in Arya's village. Now I think it's a good idea to collect all the spheres in the Rocky Crag and hopefully I end up running into a Proto-Florian because there is a quest in the Yogged Village that requires you to give the Hunter Chief an AMP chip and you can only get an AMP chip from killing Proto-Florians. So it makes a lot of sense to head to the Rocky Crag right now and I'm going to enter through the north entrance. All right, so this is perfect. I just ran into a Proto-Florian. So to beat one of these, I suggest putting a different magic ability on each of your classes. So I have Thandara for the Passion Rouge. I'm going to switch Electronica for Ignition. I'm also going to add Blizzard to the Ignition Garb as well. Then for the Nocturne Garb, I'm just going to switch Light, Light Slash with Gale Strike because Gale Strike does give you a wind-based attack. That way, I have every elemental attack dispersed throughout my three classes. And now I'm going to be ready to face the Protoflorium. So this battle is easy, but it's also a long battle because the Protoflorium has a lot of health. Fortunately, its defense is low, so it's easy to stagger. So after a while, the Protoflorian will start to alter its form. It will take one of the four elemental forms. For example, it just turned into its ice form right now. So it's going to be vulnerable to fire-based attacks. This is a good time to cast fire from the ignition garb to build that stagger wave. Now it changed to its lightning form. It's a good idea to cast Gale Strike on it or other wind-based attacks to build up the stagger wave like Aurora. I don't have Aurora and I didn't equip Arrow, so a Gale Strike will have to do for now. And that's really all there is to this battle. Just make sure you have all four elemental attacks equipped and just keep attacking him because the Chocobo will end up healing you so you don't really have to worry about using any potions in this battle and the chocobo will also help you during the battle all you have to worry about is staggering the protoflorian which is very easy so after a while after a good two to three minutes you should be able to defeat the protoflorian and once you do you will get an amp chip which you can give to the hunter chief to complete uh, a challenge in the yogged uh, Yogg Village. I believe it's a quest. I'm not sure how the quest is called, but you're going to need to get one AMP chip, and then you're also going to need 
to get three mince meats, which you get from beating those little monkeys called Valley, which I'm sure you've already faced at this point in the game. But the Protoforian is like the really big, the big bot, the big battle that you need to have to complete that challenge. Okay. So once that's done, you can continue exploring the Rocky Crag. What I'm doing here is I'm going to do some reconnaissance throughout the Rocky Crag and pick up some more of those treasure spheres. As you can see, there's one right up there. So I'm going to try and get all the treasure spheres from the Rocky Crag right away. That way we don't have to end up coming back to it. That's a good idea to glide over to this part. And there's also going to be a Crim Mushroom right here. So make sure to pick that up. Never know when those could come in handy. So you get the Wind Waker bracelet. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna wait for those to just fall down. <laughs> so I can jump across here. Okay, there we go. So I'm just walking through. I'm gonna try my best to avoid any enemies I come into contact with here. Just have them jump down. And I might as well pick up these Rocky Craig Moles, because you're going to find a lot of these Rocky Craig Moles throughout the Rocky Craig here. Alright, continue exploring. And I know Hope's telling you to go to Pultai. Don't bother going to Pultai until the later days because there's no point going there until you've already you're ready to beat the boss in Pultai. So in the Temple of the Goddess, I should say. So don't bother going there. And your Chocobo should be at full health before you even consider doing that. Right, so might as well pick up some of these rocky crags and watch those dryads just <laughs> fall down there. Jump across, and I'm going to proceed through. All right, so pull tie is right here. Somewhere in this area stands a remote village, which is and the only reason I'm going here is so I can basically pick up the Aurora level 2 which is located up these stairs here so you want to run across and you can see from a distance there's a treasure sphere right there and that's going to contain Aurora level 2 alright there we go And there's nothing more to do in Pultai. The next time I come back here, it's going to be to complete the Temple of the Goddess quest. I'm just going to... It's a good idea to save the game here. Do that quickly. And then just proceed through to complete some more of these... To actually, to find some more treasure spheres in the Wildlands. Okay, uh, I think I'm going the wrong way though. 
I think there's a treasure sphere I definitely missed, so I'm heading back here. Trying to look for it. Yeah, I'm totally disoriented right now. I think I'm just going to use the map. Put a marker where I think it is. Um... So I'm just trying to see right now where exactly this treasure sphere is. Right. Yeah, it's going to be right there. So I was going the right way initially. And you're gonna need to fly to a uh, to that area with the chocobo. I should say you're gonna need to glide to that area. So might as well just jump down here and try and avoid as many enemies as possible. Somehow I ended up missing it again. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back. Take a left. There we go. There's a little passageway. I'm still going the wrong way, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. But yeah, this little passageway here is a little uh, deceiving. I'll pick up some soul seeds, might as well. And there it is. So to get this treasure sphere, you have to be able to glide across with your chocobo. And I think this is the water god bracelet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the water god bracelet. And that's all right because right now, because it's almost 6 p.m., I can go look for some more treasure spheres and hopefully by, right now it's 4 p.m., by 6 p.m., those moon soul blooms are going to show up and I can come back to the research camp and complete the mother and daughter quest. So that's definitely going to be the plan here. So no point in using chronostasis. I'm just going to head out to the Wildlands and look for some more treasure spheres. So I should have, I think I should have pretty much all of them right now. If I don't, I'm definitely going to be close to it. So one of the treasure spheres is going to be located in the city ruins, and I think you're going to need EP to open it. So hopefully after I kill this Anubis, I'm going to get 6 EP. I'm not quite sure how much is required to open that one, but I definitely know it's you need EP to open it. It's better to be safe than sorry.
Okay. So. There it is. There's that treasure sphere. Fly over. Yeah, you're definitely going to need some EP to open it. Let's see how much it requires. Six EP. Wow. <laughs> well, you might as well go for it. And you get the Soul of Thamasa. The Soul of Thamasa is actually a really, really good attachment or accessory to have. But it's more of a late game accessory. It's not something you're going to necessarily need at this early stage in the game. But later on, once you start building your advanced schemata, the Soul of Thamasa becomes very, very valuable. So you might as well get it now while you can. And I think I've already gotten that one up there. The treasure sphere. So I just have to wait till it gets to 6 p.m. And it's almost going to get there. So the timing for this whole thing is perfect. I'm going to speak to the innkeeper so I can advance the time to 6 p.m. Rest until 18, yes. And once I do this, all the day ring blooms are going to be converted into moon soul blooms. And I can end up completing the mother and daughter quest in the research camp. So I think everything turned out pretty well. There we go, Moon Soul Bloom, right off the bat. There's another one right there. I think you need four Moon Soul Blooms. So there should be... There should be four along this path, but... I'm obviously going to be collecting more. Might as well. One right there. Let's collect that one. Pick up this one as well. So I think I have enough right now, but if I do come across more, I'm obviously going to pick them up. You know, you might as well. I'm going to try and avoid some of these enemies along the way as well. <laughs> And I'm going to end the video here, guys. So in the next video, I'm going to complete the mother and daughter quest. And thanks for watching.